Well, this will be a sort of a follow-up video to the one I did yesterday. You know, I had shown this Walter made Colt 22 and you know, after I, <laughs> reading the comments and Chuck had mentioned that he had had or was having some trouble with the slide when it goes forward rubbing on the hammer and not going all the way forward. Well, this is one of them things that I thought about all night. And, uh, you know, I think I know where the problem lies, or the great likelihood, because, you know, really, uh, the hammer is a pretty solid thing. But one thing to keep in mind, you notice there's a lot of slop on the slide. Just keep that in mind, you know, like on my Springfield, none. It doesn't move a bit, but, you know, the guns externally, they look the same. In fact, I'm guilty of having gone out to go shooting and discover when I go to pull the slide back that I've got the 22 because they got a real weak spring on them, you know, compared to the 45. But though these look the same externally, Internally, this Walther Colt has a lot more in common with a Macrov than a 1911 because it's a fixed barrel. You know, they look the same, they function the same, but there's a great deal of difference in them. And I will show you, I'll take this one down. I do like it, you know, there's certainly nothing wrong with these, but like I say, they are altogether different when you get inside of them. Like I say, very weak recoil spring. And they tear down altogether different. But you can see it's got a fixed barrel, which is why, like the macro, they're kind of inherently accurate, because you don't have that, that barrel moving up and down. But it does rely on, you know, rather than just on the, the slide, keeping it in place, because there really isn't much of a slide, unless you look, you know, right back here, really it's running on this bushing that runs on the barrel, which again isn't really the barrel. I'll explain that, because like I said, these come with a wrench to take this barrel down. Which is why, you know, since it's threaded, people always want to put suppressors on them. But the barrel is inside of this sleeve. See, that little nut comes off. And this piece comes out. And now, here's the, the, well, okay, I'll show you. The, this actually will come all the way out, too. This is the actual barrel. You know, thin little thing. But it's held in this by that nut. It's under tension. But your bushing that the slide runs on runs on this. Now, the problem comes in... These only go in one way. You see this little notch down here? That has to be in that spot exactly. And the most important part is you can't have any grit or anything under there. If there's any grit down here, this isn't going to tighten down square because your barrel is so thin. I mean, it would actually flex. You could, you could actually bend this barrel. This design makes it handy for like feeding, you know, getting at the feed ramp and stuff because the guts completely come out of it. But if you take this down, if you don't get that exactly right, you're going to have trouble. Or if you have grit in there, what's going to happen, then when the slide goes back on, the slide isn't necessarily going to be lined up correctly. 
you know, it could actually be canted slightly off to the side, which is going to interfere with your hammer. Hard to do without the barrel on. But you get the idea, because it could easily, if that isn't exactly square in there, this could easily shift to the side. And that's where it would just touch that hammer. Like I say, very little, there isn't a lot of spring pressure there. There isn't a lot of spring pressure here. You know, it wouldn't take much to stop it. But, on this outer barrel, this is a notch that has to go on the bottom. And it has to be perfectly clean. Then there's a dot on the front of it that goes to the top. But that's all that the slide really runs on. You know, it, it doesn't really run on the rails, it runs on this. But, like I say, it looks and functions like a 1911. And I have made that mistake before. But very simple design, very much like a macro.